in some of our latest videos, we've discussed how several African countries are implementing policies to restrict the export of raw natural resources. This shift is pushing international companies to collaborate with African governments in building refineries and processing factories across the African continent. And today, we have an exciting example to dive into. Ghana's mineral sector is on the verge of a major transformation. Imagine this, a mineral that has been exported raw for over a century is now going to be processed right here in Ghana. That's right, Ghana is building a 450 million manganese refinery to stop the raw export of this vital mineral and capture more economic value at home. The Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Samuel Abujinapur, has announced the construction of Ghana's first manganese refinery to set, set to begin next month. Now, the, the refinery to be located at Takwa in the western region will bring a major boost to the country's mining industry. This is a, a step in the right direction of starting our refinery project. The value addition is key for our operations, our long-term future operations. We're growing our reserves. Mr. Ampung, the general manager, is doing a lot of exploration. So we have a good resource, a good life of mine, uh, and now with the refinery coming, and the minister mentioned the salt cutting, uh, we're very proud. This is an enormous importance. So what makes manganese so important and why will this refinery impact Ghana's economy and workforce? Manganese might not be as famous as gold or oil, but it is essential for many industries. This silvery grey metal is crucial for producing stainless steel, which is used everywhere from construction to transportation. And as electric vehicles rise in popularity, manganese has become even more valuable because it is a key component in EV batteries. Since 1916, Ghana has been exported manganese in its role raw form. But that is about to change. Martin AEC, the CEO of Ghana's Mineral Commission, recently announced Ghana's bold new direction in partnership with Chinese company. Ghana will invest $450 million in a manganese refinery. This facility won't just boost revenue but will also add value locally by processing the mineral right here rather than simply shipping it out as raw ore. This move aligned perfectly with Ghana's broader goals to retrain more value in country and create jobs for its people. Once completed, the refinery will create around 400 jobs, particularly for the youth. And it's not only about employment. By refining manganese locally, Ghana can significantly boost revenue, bypass raw export taxes, and stimulate more industrial growth. And as you know, Ghana manganese has been in existence from 1914 and is metamorphosized um, from one species to the other. And, and today is Ghana Manganese Company owned by TMI. And indeed, um, uh, we've had to visit today because we have gotten to a very momentous and consequential stage uh, of transitioning from Ghana manganese mining and exporting raw manganese for more than a century today to where we are going to have our first manganese refinery here in Ghana an estimated 450 million United States dollars investment to build a refinery here in Insuta which will then mean that the manganese that is mined here in Ghana manganese will have value addition, will add value to it and will not export it in its raw form again. And that will mean that Ghana will be participating at the highest end of the value chain, which will have enormous positive implications for our national economy. It's going to have a lot of linkages in the downstream, in the uh, um, side linkages and all of that, which is going to create jobs, which is going to generate wealth and prosperity for the local communities here and beyond in our country which is going to bring in a lot more revenue and so this is really 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 a big deal this is a major breakthrough for our country now it's happened through um if i may say months and almost a year of hard work real hard work uh, multiple uh, exchange of technical teams from China to Ghana and Ghana to China and very laborious negotiations uh, in many cases with the president himself directing affairs and this is what has resulted in this uh, significant achievement for our country 
where we're going to have a manganese refinery here at Ghana Manganese. Ghana is now following the model of other African countries like South Africa, which has been processing minerals such as platinum and iron ore domestically to strengthen their economies. Now Ghana is joining this great movement, choosing the long-term benefit of value addition over quick gains from unprocessed exports. This shift isn't just about economic growth, it's about transforming how Ghana manages its resources. And it's not just manganese on Ghana's radar, the country is also planning to open a lithium mine by the end of 2024 further expanding its mineral processing capabilities and bring us closer to a future of resources self-sufficiency. This manganese refinery is a symbol of Ghana's commitment to transforming its resources into long-term benefits for its people. And it's a step towards keeping the value of resources at home, creating jobs and inspiring other African countries to do the same. So, as the rest of African watches, could this shift signals a new age of resource ownership across the beautiful African continent? Let us know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. I'm Sharif Haruna and thank you very much for watching. Have a joyful life and see you in the next one. Makrao.